So what's the next phase of wound healing? Well, the next phase is the proliferative phase. Now this begins at day four, lasts till about day 21, okay? So the longest phase so far. Well, what are the goals of the proliferative phase? Well, the goals of the proliferative phase are we need granulation tissue formation. We want re-epithelialization. We want angiogenesis or blood vessel formation in the wound. And of course, we also want wound contraction. So what cells are needed to accomplish each of these goals? Think about it because we're going to go through it right now. Okay, so what's the most important cell when it comes to the proliferative phase? Fibroblast is the answer. This is one of the most important cells when it comes to the proliferative phase. And what does the fibroblast do? Well, the fibroblast migrates to the wound by the help of these growth factors. It lays down type 3 collagen. So even though it's happening first, it's actually three okay so type three collagen now ultimately this will be replaced by type one collagen but this immature weaker collagen is the type three collagen that's laid down by fibroblasts we also get glycosaminoglycans well these are long unbranched polysaccharide chains like hyaluronic acid and they bind to the tissue to form this gel to assist with wound healing. And then finally, fibronectin. Well, this is like a large biological Velcro that <laughs> causes everything to stick to it. Fibronectin also serves as a scaffold for collagen deposition by fibroblasts and helps as an anchor to help cells spread effectively through the wound. Well, what cells next? Next most important cell would be the endothelial cell. Well, what do we need endothelial cells? Well, endothelial cells are lining blood vessels, so we need them for angiogenesis. They're recruited to the wound. Think of vascular endothelial growth factor. So we get recruitment of endothelial cells, formation of new blood vessels, and that's an important part of the proliferative phase of wound healing. Well, what are keratinocytes? Well, keratinocytes migrate from the wound edge and they are important in re-epithelialization of a wound. And then finally, the myofibroblast. Well, with a word like myo, you can tell that this is muscle. This is a muscle cell that begins to help with wound contraction. The fifth cell is the macrophage. In fact, the M2 variant of the macrophage, which is incredibly important in this phase of wound healing. And what does it do? Well, this cell regulates fibroblast activity. It also stimulates angiogenesis and also the release of even more growth factors to keep this positive cycle going to heal that wound.